<sighs> I hate ponytails. My name is Kaylee, and in this video, I'm going to tell you all about the 16,800 year old Paleolithic cave dwelling at the La Garma cave, which is the latest archaeological discovery in Spain. So the La Garma cave complex is very well known for its cave art and it's located in the municipality of Ribamontan al Monte in the Cantabria province of Spain. The cave was originally discovered back in 1995 and was inhabited in the past by humans throughout the Paleolithic from 300,000 years ago until around 16,800 years ago. Around 16,800 years ago, a rock fall blocked the entrance to the cave system and its many chambers, sealing its contents like a prehistoric time capsule. So even though the cave entrance was blocked and the cave system was inaccessible, humans continue to occupy the surrounding caverns during the Neolithic era, the Bronze Age, the Iron Age, and even in the Middle Ages. So the cave contains more than 4,000 fossils, more than 500 pieces of cave art, including 109 signs, 92 animal figures, and 40 hand stencils. The latest research project, which was made possible thanks to the support of the Palarque Foundation and the project of International Institute of Prehistoric Research of Cantabria, was led by Pablo Arias, Professor of Prehistory, and Roberto Ontanon, Director of Caves of Cantabria from the University of Cantabria. And they announced the discovery of one of the best preserved Paleolithic dwellings in the world. So this section of the cave was previously unknown and undiscovered by the archaeologists and they mentioned that this dwelling was like a time capsule frozen in time, giving us insight in the everyday life of Magdalenian hunter-gatherers 16,800 years ago. The hut, or otherwise known as dwelling structure, but for me, hut is much easier. The hut is centered around a campfire and the hut has an oval shape of approximately 5 meters. The outline of the hut is defined by a series of stone blocks and stalagmites that used to support a structure made of sticks and skins that leaned against the cave wall. So inside the hut, the archaeologists found various remains of everyday activities of Magdalenian hunter-gatherers, including evidence of stone tool production, bone and antler tools, and fur processing. So a total of at least 4,614 objects were documented in this new discovery, including deer, horse and bison bones, 600 pieces of flint, needles and a proto-harpoon, as well as sea mollusk shells and numerous pendants worn by the Magdalenian hunter-gatherer cave inhabitants. The archaeologists also discovered a number of decorated bones, including a remarkable pierced Aroch's phalanx engraved with both the animal itself and a human face. This is a distinct artifact unique to the European Paleolithic. As you can imagine, this isn't the only discovery made in this particular cave. This cave system is quite large and for the past 25 years excavations have been ongoing. So far, five levels of the cave complex have been discovered that appear to show evidence of human activity, spanning across 300,000 years. As many of you watching this video will know, there used to be more than one human species back in the day. So this means that other human species have inhabited and used this cave in the past as well. We don't know for sure which human species did, but you know, most likely Neanderthals that used this cave in the past. But there were other human species living in this region as well during those 300,000 years, so possibly Homo heidelbergensis as well. Back in 2017, traces of 14 Paleolithic footprints of children were discovered in the cave by a research team led by Pablo Arias and Roberto Ontanon as well. These footprints were in an excellent state of preservation and were found in an elevated area, some 25 meters above the lower gallery. 
So this area was very, very difficult to access and not visible to researchers in the past. So the area in which the footprints were found is 3 to 4 meters high and approximately 6 meters wide. Speleologists helped during the research of this new discovered gallery and they made their way over there. The soil, according to them, was very clay and they noticed some of the clay had been removed due to movements. At first they were thinking of animals being the cause of those movements, but upon closer inspection it was found that these movements were made by human feet, children's feet to be exact. So the researchers found 14 intact footprints with a length of 18 centimeters, which corresponds with the feet size of children between the ages of 6 and 7. So the researchers also found other imprints on the clay, possibly made by fingers and elbows. So it's thought that a small group of children may have been playing in this soft clay of this new discovered gallery. So back in 2017, the Lagarma cave was already considered to be one of the most important sites in the world for the knowledge of, you know, human behavior in the Paleolithic period. So Arias and Ontanyon both led numerous excavation seasons in the Lagarma cave in the last 25 years. And they agree that Lagarma is a continuous succession of surprises and an inexhaustible source of discoveries. And they have been convinced that the cave will still contain many archaeological delights. So further details about this latest discovery of the cave dwelling, or hut as I refer to it throughout this video, will be announced at a press conference at the National Archaeology Museum in February of 2024. And I'll be sure to make a new video when we have more information on this amazing find. So what do you think of the Lagarma cave in Spain? A prehistoric time capsule that gives us an insight on the everyday lives of Paleolithic hunter-gatherers? Let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, this was me filming right after I've been sick. You can still hear it a little bit in my voice. Uh, I tried to do my hair nicely and it just wouldn't budge, so uh, it, it, there was a ponytail today. I hate ponytails, I only wear ponytails whenever I go to the gym. But yeah, this is what you got people, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is also my second to last video of the year. I will have another video probably before Christmas or right after Christmas, I'm not sure yet when I'll be ready with it. And somewhere in January, probably late January, we have the Neanderthal documentary. But with that said, if you enjoyed watching, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos, and click that bell icon if you want to be notified whenever I upload. If you haven't seen my previous videos yet, then click the card in the upper right corner, like it's, it's here, it's, it's floating here. And otherwise, click one of the links in the description down below, or click a video in the end card. I mean, just keep watching, please. I try my best to make good content. Um, thank you to all my members on the channel and my patrons over on Patreon. Thank you so much for supporting me. Um, I've also invested in a new webcam, so next time when I do a live stream, it won't be a complete shit show. I hope. Because <laughs> up until now, every time I've tried to live stream, something went wrong. And so I decided to like invest a little bit and... My savings are gone, but that's fine. Uh, I'll probably get new savings, hopefully, in the new year. We shall see. But thank you all for watching. And yeah, with that said, this is my rambling. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a great Christmas and a happy new year if you don't see me or I don't see you before the new year starts. And I just wanted to make sure that I've said that. Bye, guys.